talks about uh, enlightens us more continuous uh, you talked about rote learning you know interestingly hamare desh mein rote learning pe zyada emphasis thi but outside they individual learning pe bhi i remember hum log jo jahan pe baithe hain of course kuchon ko chhod kar kuch bachon ko chhod kar yahan pe lekin jo zara zyada usme hai to aapko yaad hoga hum logon ko pahade sikhaye jate the tables we learn tables and in hindi also you know and english also we learn tables and we mug them up properly i was in tokyo and i want i bought something from there and i said ki kitna pa-? i asked him how much money so he said i said it is only so much yen i said so much yen you are wasting time he said ah you are right so much yen i said he pehle sun leta meri baat but in india mein hum logo ne ye rote learning kar kar ke na we have learned we have learned things up aisa nahi hai ki our system was bad it the system was good because hamare ancient times mein kya tha smriti astuti yaad kaise hoga smriti mein kaise jayegi na jab bolenge when you are continuously repeating something you will start learning when i was in school we learned a prayer and i knew it by heart but what i did not learn it took me a lot of time to learn it took me a lot of time to learn so it becomes a little difficult and then we talk about uh, very interestingly kuldeep sir talked about jagmak theory you know the jag is there but agar jab ek jagi ka aadha khali ho to mak kaise bharega you know to pehle to hame ko teachers ko pakadna padta hai we have to catch the teachers chahe kitna bhi nep aa jaye लेकिन टीचर्स के ऊपर भी तो हमें एम्फेसाइज करना पड़ेगा हमारी मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट लिंक टीचर है द टीचर इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पर्सन आपको उसको पकड़ना है आपको उनको समझाना है कि जो भी आपने अभी बोला डॉक्टर अग्रवाल ने वेन यू वॉज टॉकिंग यू वॉज सेंग दैट ही टॉक अबाउट ए डी पी के जो फिलोसफी है बट जैक्स डेलॉस हैज टॉक अबाउट इट लॉन्ग टाइम बैक लर्निंग टू लर्न लर्निंग टू डू लर्निंग टू बी लर्निंग टू लिव इन पीस He talked about all those things. Jacques Delors, so, I think, ninety four, ninety five, with Professor Rajput, they did a conference. Us UNESCO ki conference si. Yeah, Delors, Delors commission. Delors commission had come in. Jacques Delors. He talked about all these things. Learning to live in peace and harmony. We have not learned. Rose TV khole to koi na koi mar raha hai, koi kuch ho raha hai, kuch ho raha hai, kuch ho raha hai, and you feel sad. But kya ham kuch kar pa rahe hain? No, we are not able to do it because hume ye jo bhi karna hai, wo schoolon mein karna hai. Hume apne bachon ko samjhana hai ki this is jo tumne diya hi nahi. Have you given life to anybody? How can you take away that life from that person? So ye cheeze jo hai, we have to catch the teachers also. And I'm sure ke any P K me teachers ke bhi upar bhi kuch na kuch mention zaroor kiya gaya hoga. So Nidhi, the mic is yours. good afternoon good afternoon to the esteemed guest present here uh, i will be covering the topic national curriculum framework 2023 and implications for school education board uh, so since uh, ncf is basically based on the philosophy of nep only most of the topics have already been covered that i'll be covering but i'll just uh, brief you about some of those uh, so uh, Uh, let's first introduce ncf se that is school education 2023 uh, after a long period of 18 years ncf came into being and earlier it was uh, uh, that was followed was ncf 2005 we know that uh, since india is growing at a fast pace so there is a need for uh, the education system to grow reason being that education is one of the important aspect and the learners will be the future generation of india who will lead india to the first level so coming to the introduction to ncf uh, it is based on the philosophy of nep 2020 uh, which is built upon promotion of universalization of school education providing inclusive flexible and quality school education for life and livelihood it emphasizes on imparting vocational skills with academic education for sustainable development of the nation and society 
it embodies the forward thinking vision for education in india coming to the division of ncf se to uh, 2023 it is organized into five parts the first one being aims of school education that covers the content it covers the time allocation the pedagogy and assessment that is to be covered it also covers the school stages and how it is to be divided the second uh, part is the part b which is on important cross cutting themes i'll be discussing about it in brief in the next slides reason being that uh, this is the wholesome philosophy of ncf and that the school boards have to follow uh, when they'll be implementing it in making the curriculum and the textbooks and to uh, teach the students the part 3 that is part c is on uh, school subjects it has been divided into different uh, subject areas like language science social sciences then there is also vocational mathematics skill education and art education and uh, similarly other subject areas the part d is on school culture and processes which talks about how the schools should proceed ahead the environment that they should provide the students and uh, how there has to be the implementation of ncf in the school the last part is uh, part e which is on ecosystem of schooling uh, which also talks about how the school system has to work uh, so that they can cater to the needs of the student in a better way coming to the philosophy and the cross cutting themes that are mentioned in ncf uh 2023 the first one being rootedness in india and indian knowledge system this has been talked in this entire technical session uh how uh, uh, anita ma'am also talked about how uh, she had been learning history how the teachers had been uh, teaching history there was also a mention of uh, how upanishads have many knowledge that we can give to the students and uh, you know similarly dr kuldeep agarwal also talked about how it is needed in a current situation uh, we know that the history of india is long forgotten and uh, the students still fail to realize their uh, culture where they ca came from their rootedness to their culture is long lost so there is a need for uh, the curriculum to be built in such a way that students can be uh, proud to say that we are indians and this is our contribution to the world and things uh, similar to that so ncf covers ncf has focused on it so that the students can uh, you know uh, Uh, know that what their culture really is second is values and disposition uh, upadhyay sir mentioned about the intolerance in people how there is a uh, disrespect amongst people amongst colleagues and uh, you know if you are going around and um, let's just say that uh, you are moving on a road and you bump into someone there will be a clash between two people and uh, so values and disposition is long lost and long forgotten it needs to be catered to when the students from the uh, initial level itself needs to be taught about what are the moral values what is the need to you know uh, inculcate these values in students and they should know the rights and wrongs that are needed the next one is learning about and caring for the environment uh, so we are where we live environment is a great part Uh, of uh, you know environment makes us who we are so uh, it needs a little care it it environment in itself is a provider and it needs a little care so we as a human are failing to provide the bare minimum that environment needs and uh, the basic level from which we can teach uh, the people today is from the school level that how they can take care of the environment like uh, not throwing litter here and there and uh, planting trees taking care of the trees and now that we know that there is a lot of pollution especially in metropolitan cities uh, where we face uh, you know where we have to wear the mask every now and then uh, like since i am from delhi we have seen that uh, uh, during the past few days it was the valley and then uh, the uh, pollution was 
unbearable and since this is because of the environment that we live in and we don't take care of it it needs to be inculcated in the students so that they can take care of the environment as well inclusion in school is the next point uh, so we know let's just suppose that we are in a group of 20 people and uh, we are not included in the group reason being that uh, there is a language barrier so i suppose that uh, me being the alone person in th there i'll not feel good let's suppose how would a student feel about it if they are not included in a group so be it uh, external factor or the internal factor external factor where they have no control let's just say a disability that they cannot overcome or the internal factor where they have to uh, you know uh, build in confidence or things like that so there has to be you know there has to be the teacher the school should provide an environment where every student is included in the group wherein the uh, the forgotten student is asked to come up and is encouraged to uh, give their part to be included in the group so ncf also talks about it and it also uh, emphasize on how the curriculum has to be made wherein the disabilities the uh, caste creed and things like that can be neglected and the textbooks and uh, uh, the curriculum can be made so that every uh, person can be included and can feel included the next one is guiding and counseling in school uh, according to the who report that was uh, that came in 2017 it was noticed that there was a significant level of stress amongst adolescent so this was before the covid came in now after covid what happened was there were online classes wherein the students were not socializing with their friends they were not going out imagine the stress level today now that the schools have opened it had been normalized to go out but yet there had been some of the stress factor that was there which have not been uh, you know catered to that still needs to be catered so this is something uh, that the school must keep in mind that there has to be certain kind of guidance and counseling in school so that the person who is stressed because you will never know if the student is stressed because if a student comes to you and say that uh, oh i am worried about my exam i cannot give my exam uh, and it is uh, creating attention in me so what we usually do is we neglect it because uh, we think that it is a minimal thing or itni choti si baat ki kya tension leni so this is something that the school must cater to of course there is a part that uh, parents also play but there is um, school the teachers that should cater to it then comes the educational technology in schools uh, so basically like uh, dr kuldeep agarwal also mentioned that uh, uh, during the covid times there was an increase in the you know in, in um, the use of technological uh, tools let's say the uh, a powerpoint presentation online classes that were being conducted so similarly there has been a shift in the traditional schooling system to what we are following now and the school should look at it that the educational technology is available in school and it every teacher is equipped with it and is well trained next we come to the scheme of studies that in, that is mentioned in uh, national curriculum framework uh, we'll talk about the secondary level first so it states that uh, there will be three languages that will be made compulsory r1 r2 and r3 out of which at least two should be native to india other than that three languages plus there have to be seven other academic subjects so this is something uh, yes so yeah uh, yes so uh, if you look at this uh, figure it has three languages then it has mathematics it also has science social science art education environmental education is also made compulsory physical education and vocation education apart from these there have to be external examination as well as local assessment with external examination uh, if you look at it there are 
seven subjects with external examination, and the rest three are local assessment with external examiner. Coming to the senior secondary level, like it is there in uh, secondary, they have made three languages compulsory. In senior secondary, they have made two languages compulsory and four subjects from at least two of the groups, namely group two, group three, and group four. These are the group two, group three, and group four. Uh, the group two is on art education, music, dance, etc., physical education, vocational education. Group three is on social science, history, Mm, geography, political science, interdisciplinary areas, commerce, environmental education. Group four is on mathematics and con uh, computational thinking, mathematics, programming, coding, etc. Science, physics, chemistry. So these are the certain areas, certain uh, subjects that have to be offered to the uh, students. And the students are free to choose from amongst any two of these groups. Since we have talked about what NCF have to offer, we must also look at what we as a board, we as a school can do to cater to their, uh, to uh, implement the NCF in a better, better way. So the first one is quality education. Of course, uh, before the NCF also, there has been a focus on that they, we should offer quality education to the students and not just rote memorize uh, help them in rote memorizing the concepts, but provide quality ex uh, education with examples and you know real life experiences. We should also foster inclusive, adaptable, community fo uh, focused educational system to the students. We should offer subjects as per the schemes of studies that have already been discussed. Uh, there has to be the curricula and textbooks to be developed as per the NCF. And the teacher training program is a must because NCF brings about a lot of changes that have not been followed till date. And the teachers who will be implementing, who will be dealing with the students, the uh, education system, the schools need to be equipped with such things. So there has to be certain training programs so that the teachers can cater to their needs. There has to be promotion of assessment of literacy among teachers and learners. Now, being an open schooling board, uh, we also play a role in the implementation of NCF. And these are the points that we should keep in mind when we are implementing uh, the NCF. So it ends, uh, open schooling board is known for its accessibility and flexibility in the education system. Reason being that students can come up and give their exam as per their choice. So there has to be more accessibility and flexibility in education. The inclusivity and alignment with national educational objectives have to be kept in mind because of course open schooling board does you know, keep in mind to take in all the uh, students uh, without, I mean, they do cater to the inclusivity part. So the development of curriculum has to be as per the NCF. There has to be quality education for both the regular school as well as the open schooling board. Uh, Self-paced open and distance learning has to be provided to the students. Mm, the development of learning material has to be done as per the NCF and there has to be emphasis on skill development as well. So this is all for, from my side. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nidhi. You have really enlightened you and Kuldi. Both of you have done quite a good job on telling us what the NCF is all about. Thank you. And it's been done really well and we have worked hard on it. And I think all of us must have gained a lot from it. I was wondering about the three language formula. Third language, ko to, do language to samaj mein aati hai. Angrezi kisho ko aati to padh lete hai hum log. Hind, uh, jo amara mother language hai, wo bhi hum padh lete hai. But third language ka kya hoga, I don't understand. I was trying, when I read this, of course, it's not bad. And they said any one language, either foreign language or the, I remember when in, in my post-graduation, I picked up French and I was in the class and I raised my hand and told the teacher, Thoda sa please tell us in English also, ma'am. 
she put a pen down she told me she says have you come here to study learn about french or english i said french she says then you cannot study french i cannot translate it for you uh, and then i realized that she was so right you know in most of our government schools what happens in what happens when we teach students what happens we translate it english into first into our own language whatever language we are doing and then we go back and retranslate into english and then answer supposing i ask you a question where is the cat sitting the teacher will say the cat and where is she sitting billi kahan baithi hai then wo english mein answer dega the cat sat on the wall ab us cat is sitting on the wall nahi hoga cat sat on the wall ho jayega so you know translation ke andar hum log most hamare problem hi hamari education system mein yahi hai ki hum log jo hain वो सिस्टम को पकड़ नहीं पा रहे हैं और उसी के अंदर ही हम घूमते रह जाते हैं एंड ऐसे क्या होता है हमारे सिस्टम के अंदर क्रिएटिविटी भी नहीं है क्रिएटिविटी के लिए बहुत क्रिएटिविटी बहुत ज़रूरी है हमारे सिस्टम के अंदर और ओपन लर्निंग में तो मुझे समझ में नहीं आता कि कैसे हम लोग कर सकते हैं बिकॉज मैंने जो देखा है ओपन स्कूल नेशनल ओपन स्कूल के अंदर देखा है एंड वी वर एडिटिंग आई वॉज एडिटिंग देयर हिस्ट्री बुक्स हिस्ट्री एंड कल्चर वाला बुक्स एंड रियली बहुत मेहनत कर कर के तो उसको लिखा लोगों ने और उतनी ही मेहनत करके हम लोगों ने एडिट भी किया हम कई लोग उसमें मेम्बर्स थे एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द डे दे हैड पिक्ट अप द चैम्पियन वाली कुंजी यू नो कुंजियाँ पकड़ पकड़ के दे रट टू डेट ऑफ और आंसर दे दी और एग्ज़ाम के बाद जो है वो सारी कुंजियाँ कमरे के बाहर पढ़ के पकड़ी हुई पड़ी हुई मिल जाती थी बिच द पर्सन जो बेचता था सड़क पर बैठकर वो जल्दी जल्दी उसके नौकर आके उसको बटोरते थे और फिर वो दोबारा फैल जाती थी बिक जाती थी या फिर इकट्ठी हो जाती थी सो यू डोंट नो हाउ टू मेक पीपल अंडरस्टैंड फिर उसके बाद हम लोग क्या कर रहे हैं कि नॉलेज को इतना कंप्रेस करके एक ही किताबें इतना कुछ भर रहे हैं दैट आई थिंक द टीचर हु सेटिंग द क्वेश्चन पेपर डज नॉट नो हाउ टू सेट दैट पेपर लॉन्ग आंसर तो उसको पता ही नहीं चलता मैं कहाँ से शुरू करूँ और कहाँ ख़त्म करूँ उसको जाके और बच्चों को भी और टीचर को जो ब्राइट है जो ब्राइट टीचर्स है वो बता देती है बच्चों को इसमें से ये आएगा और इसमें से ये आएगा क्योंकि आठ नंबर का क्वेश्चन तो इसी में से ही आएगा वो बच्चा घोटे मार मार के उसको याद करता है अच्छी तरीके से याद कर लेता है पास हो जाता है फिर एम आते हैं उसको मालूम है चालीस में से तीस आ गए न बस तीन ही तो चाहिए ज़्यादा क्या करना है मेहनत करके लेकिन एम वेरी डिफिकल्ट मेरे को तो लगता है अगर मेरे को पढ़ना पड़ता है एम तो फेल ही हो जाती आई वो नो वॉट टू डू क्योंकि इतना डिफिकल्ट है बट दे दे नो बिकॉज आप उनका बड़ा सिंपल सा फार्मूला है ए बी सी ए बी सी एक को एक एक मारा फिर दूसरे में बी मारा फिर तीसरे में सी मारा फिर अगेन ए बी सी ए बी सी कुछ तो सही होगा ना कहीं तो सही होंगे सारा गलत होना ना इतना हम अनपढ़ तो नहीं है ना ए बी सी ए बी सी ए बी सी ए बी सी ये इस तरीके से बच्चे पढ़ लेते हैं तो दे हैव लर्न द ईजियर वे टू लर्न तो आई डोंट आई गॉड ब्लेस दी एन सी एफ ऑल्सो आई डोंट नो कि कैसे होगा I really want my country to come up because कई साल पहले जब मैं बाहर जाती थी तो वो इंडियन सहारे हैं ओ बाहर जाओ दे वुड नॉट इवन टॉक दे वुड नॉट इवन टॉक टू अस वी वॉज सो इंसल्टेड इतना बेजती हमारी होती थी इंडियंस की बट टूडे मर्सीफुली आज जब जाते थे स्माइल एच इंडियो से आइए कम 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 आई हैव लॉट्स ऑफ न्यू थिंग्स टू शो यू एंड यू आर यू फील प्राउड I don't know what what you feel, but uh, when ये howdy howdy क्या था howdy मोदी howdy मोदी हो रहा था बाहर तो that time I was in Milan हो and uh, I was in the hotel lobby के अंदर मैंने कहा खाना खाने जाऊँ तो वहाँ पे बहुत बड़ा television लगा था they all wanted to see howdy मोदी that was in Milan हो in Italy I'm surprised I don't know why they were so interested खैर इन्होंने और फिर उसके बाद बहुत जो जो से तालियाँ बज रही in the hall okay not in the television on the hall in the hall and i went out to see ke ho kya hai and there i saw the prime minister our prime minister standing there mera pradhan mantri how do you, and, and people clapping you know the italians and the other foreigners jo bhi the wahan pe indians to indian mein to main bhi thi and honestly i will you believe it or not i cried mere ko itna rona aaya because i felt so proud oh mere prime minister ke liye taaliyan baj rahi hain itni zor zor se i felt happy And I think uh, अगर हमारा ये करिकुलम हम लोग जो कर रहे हैं अगर हम लोग कामयाब हो जाते हैं आई एम वेरी श्योर कि वी विल ऑल फील प्राउड ऑफ आर कंट्री एंड दैट्स वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू फील आई वॉन्ट टू फील प्राउड ऑफ माई ओन कंट्री ऑफ माई ओन कल्चर ऑफ माई ओन सिविलाइजेशन ऑफ माई ओन पीपल ये बहुत ज़रूरी है सो आई प्लीज़ आप बोर्ड्स के लोग हैं और बोर्ड्स स्कूलों में तो इतना ज़्यादा नहीं पहुँच पाते हैं लेकिन अगर आप पहुँच पाते हैं एंड इफ़ यू आर एबल टू कंट्रोल द बोर्ड्स इफ़ यू आर एबल टू कंट्रोल द स्कूल्स अंडर यू I'm sure K 
कि हम वी विल नॉट बी लैगिंग बिहाइंड हम कम नहीं हैं लेट मी टेल यू लेट मी अश्योर यू हम लोग कम नहीं हैं पीपल अब्रॉड दे वॉन्ट टू सेंड द स्टूडेंट दे वॉन्ट द एजु इंडियन एजुकेशन सिस्टम टू बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड देयर दे वॉन्ट आर सिस्टम टू बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड देयर वो कहते हैं ये ज़्यादा अच्छा है आपका सिस्टम बहुत अच्छा है हमारा सिस्टम इतना अच्छा नहीं है एंड आई वॉज वंडरिंग कि हमें तो ये बताया जाता था कि हमारा सिस्टम ही कुछ नहीं है यू नो पता नहीं क्यों उनका अब ये ऐसा क्यों महसूस हो रहा है बट वो भी अच्छा खुश खुशी हुई थी अच्छा लगा था एंड आई आई से बेस्ट ऑफ लक टू दिस न्यू सिस्टम विच एस कम इन एंड आई होप वी ऑल सक्सीड सो थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड अगेन आई मस्ट प्लीज एक जोरदार ताली मजा दीजिए बोसे के लिए यू नो एक छोटा बच्चा इतना बड़ा काम कर जाए तो दे डिजर्व दे डिजर्व इट इज इट इट तो ये बाकी बोर्ड्स भी कम फॉरवर्ड प्लीज थैंक यू सो मच और किसका है Thank you so much, Anita Devraj, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kuldeep sir and Miss Nidhi Kapoor. We shall now resume after the second technical, after a short tea break, for the second technical session. Thank you. <laughs>